This is Dr. Someshwar from Shield Healthcare. I hope everyone doing good. And I welcome you all on uh, to the menopause series by Dr. Payal Bhargav, a co-founder of uh, Divan Magic Foundation. Before starting the talk, let me take privilege to introduce Dr. Payal Bhargav Amman, who is a postgraduate diploma in ART from uh, in reproductive medicine from Kale, Germany. And she did her fellowship in infertility from IMA Hyderabad. And she is a life member of IMA, Menopause Society India and PCOS Society India. She is a member of Managing Committee of PCOS Society India and co-founder and director on board XPS Analytics Private Limited and consultant at uh, Sri Krishna Diagnostic Center and also consultant at Pranada Hospital, Hyderabad. And she is a co-founder for Divine Magic Foundation, a public health and awareness initiative working at gross root level and digitally through the, its YouTube channel. Now, without much further ado, let me turn over the time to Dr. Pal Bhagava to take over the session. Welcome all to our series of Sailing Through Menopause. Today, I'm going to talk about long COVID. Long COVID has various symptoms and it affects almost all the organs of the body. So let's see what we can do to pr protect ourselves from long COVID and the consequences it has. Welcome. So menopause and long COVID. Long COVID is defined as signs and symptoms that develop during or following an infection consistent with COVID-19, which continue for more than 12 weeks and are not explained by an alternative diagnosis. It usually presents with cluster of symptoms, often overlapping, which can fluctuate and change over time and can affect any system of the body. Now, long COVID symptoms range from chronic fatigue to brain fog to organ damage, like breathing difficulties and heart problems. For many, these symptoms have a severe impact on their health and well-being. So who are the people who are more susceptible to long COVID? Factors that appear to be associated with a greater risk of suffering from long COVID are increased age, excesses, excess weight, obesity, female gender, asthma, and multiple symptoms at presentation. The common symptoms of long COVID are hair fall, fatigue, loss of smell and persistent cough, headache, chest pain, muscle pain, pins and needles, forgetfulness, depression, shortness of breath, palpitations, diarrhea, abdominal pain, rash, and recurrent fever. So coming to the most important topic by which the patients present, that is COVID and hair loss. So most COVID-19 patients are having hair loss called telogen effluem. This is a temporary form caused by a physical or emotional stress, high fever, illness or weight loss of more than 20 pounds, symptoms common with the virus. Hair loss can occupy a large amount of someone's mind share because our hair is something we see. It's often part of our identity and how others perceive us. So when patients start losing hair, especially for the first time, they often become very upset. What is recommended for them is a high protein diet, more of vitamin D or supplements like biotin, reducing stress and anxiety, yoga and meditation always helps. Coming to the next most common symptom of these patients, that is fatigue in COVID-19. Fatigue is one of the most consistent and persistent symptoms people experience following COVID infection. Implications of unresolved fatigue lead to reduction in physical activity, experiencing aches, pains, and hypersensitivity, reduction in functional capabilities, may delay or prevent return to work or normal functional activities. Frustration, worry, anxiety, depression, cognitive function like memory loss and concentration, social and personal relationships. The other common symptom of long COVID is breathing issues after COVID-19. A severe case of COVID-19 can produce scarring and other permanent problems in the lungs. But even mild infection can cause persistent shortness of breath, 
getting winded easily after even light exertion. Lung recovery after COVID-19 is possible, but it takes time. It can take months for a person's lung function to return to pre-COVID-19 levels. Breathing exercises and respiratory therapy helps these patients. The other symptom is heart problems after COVID-19. SARS-CoV-2 infection can leave some people with heart problems, including inflammation of the heart muscle. 60% of people who recovered from COVID-19 had signs of ongoing heart inflammation, which could lead to the common symptoms of shortness of breath, palpitations, and rapid heartbeat. This inflammation appeared even in those who had had a mild case of COVID-19 and who had no medical issues before they got sick. Now, COVID-19 also damages the kidney. If the coronavirus infection caused kidney damage, this can raise the risk of long-term kidney disease and the need for dialysis for these patients. There can be lost or distorted senses of smell and taste after COVID-19. The senses of smell and taste are related, and because the coronavirus can affect cells in the nose, having COVID-19 can result in altered or lost senses of smell or taste. Before and after people becoming ill with COVID-19, they might lose their sense of smell or taste entirely or find that the familiar things smell or taste bad, strange or different. For about a quarter of people with COVID-19 who have one or both of these symptoms, the problem resolves in a couple of weeks. But for most, these symptoms persist. Though not life-threatening, prolonged distortion of these senses can be devastating and can lead to lack of appetite, anxiety, and depression. Now there's something called as POTS, that is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. In this condition that affects blood circulation and people who have survived COVID-19 may be more vulnerable to it. It can leave a survivor with other neurological symptoms, including continuing headache, fatigue, brain fog, difficulties in thinking or concentrating, and insomnia. Even in patients with POTS, persistent COVID-19 insomnia or COVID-somnia is an increasingly common complaint among COVID-19 survivors. So most of the COVID patients suffer from mental health issues after COVID-19. After surviving COVID-19, some people are left with lingering anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Physical changes such as pain and weakness can be complicated by long periods of isolation, stress from job loss and financial difficulties, and grief from the deaths of loved ones and loss of good health. Patients who are hospitalized have a particularly challenging recovery. COVID-19 survivors and other people who have spent time in the ICU are at high risk of, for problems with mental health, cognition, and physical recovery. So now the patients for, of diabetes, the relationship between COVID-19 and diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, is complex. Type 2 diabetes is a risk factor for serious cases of COVID-19, and some survivors of the illness seem to be developing type 2 diabetes signs after they recover from COVID-19. So we have seen how long COVID affects almost all the organs and symptoms of the body. So what can we do about it? The most important thing is being aware of underlying health problems. Maintain a healthy weight, healthy diet, slowly improve your ability to function, focusing on breathing exercises, boost your immunity, lower stress and anxiety, relax, improve blood oxygen levels. Improving healthy sleep habits, modification in behavior, that is avoiding mobile or TV before bed, practicing yoga, balanced diet and light meal before sleep, all these things will help. When should you see a doctor about post-COVID-19 symptoms? Long-term COVID-19 symptoms can be similar to signs of other disease. So it is very important to see your doctor and rule out other problems such as cardiac issues or lung disease. Don't ignore loss of smell, depression, anxiety, or insomnia, or write these off as unimportant or all in your head. Any symptom that interferes with your daily life is worth a call to your doctor who can help you address these problems and improve the quality of your life.
So what can we do to prevent long COVID? The best way to prevent long COVID is to protect yourself from getting a COVID-19 infection. You can protect yourself from getting an infection by getting the vaccination, practice social distancing, avoid getting in the crowded area, wearing a mask and washing your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So the take home message of my talk is long COVID is a silent danger that affects the quality of life who have recovered from COVID-19. Hence, the patients are recommended to observe their symptoms, take enough sleep, avoid stressful situations, have a healthy diet and frequently do exercise. If there are abnormalities, seek medical attention as soon as possible because long COVID can be treated if the patients strictly follow the doctor's instruction and properly take care of themselves. Thank you so much for your patient hearing.